Glad you could join us for mid-morning this Tuesday. Lawmakers at the state capitol are looking forward to some good news this week. The budget surplus is expected to top $1 billion. Governor Mark Dayton has a plan, so do Republican leaders, so probably does every single one of you watching right now. <laughs> I have a couple ideas of what I'd like to do Give with it a, all back. a billion dollars. Checks for everyone. Yeah, checks. So, Pat, yeah. there is a rumor going around that the state is going to use this money to buy new headphones for everyone's <laughs> iPhone. Every, everyone who has one of these. So you is that right? Is that what's happening? It, so, yeah, I'm, no. I'm still upset about that. I understand. Okay. So, We're do we have upset. to move on? Are you going to oh. get a check from the state that will allow you to buy you know, these new headphones? It's a good place headphones. to start. Uh, a lot of us remember that back in the day when Jesse Ventura was governor, we got the Jesse checks. Right. I remember that. It was like 50 bucks. Yeah, it was and not that much over. money. It was gone. But when does the state over. send you money? Never. Well, every year. If you get a refund. No, every year. There, you with your tax deductions, with your mortgage. Well, it's deduction. not the same but as getting a giving, check. Like that it feels is good. welfare. It is welfare. To that's pay what out. it is. It is. And that's what it but is. But people so, love it. So yeah, they absolutely do. They love so, it. So no, uh, we're we're not going to get checks back as we did uh, 15 years ago, but I think that all, all of them, the Republicans, Democrats together, want to lower the tax burden. There will be some specific tax cuts, uh, tax credits for child care, for dependent care credit, uh, the lowering property taxes on some businesses, and on your cabin. So there might be some of that. So that's what well, the finally is relief be. for the cabin owners. The cabin owners. <laughs> well, the struggle <laughs> is real. Okay, and what is the tourism industry impact on Minnesota, Jason? It's tremendous. Yes, I okay. understand. Yeah. Why do you hate cabin owners? All right. I, I, Are I, you just jealous? You know, <laughs> or kids? Just so straight up envy. Straight up envy. No. So I think that's the direction. But everybody will go. get a little something. Yeah. I, I think that is probably the direction that everybody's going to go. But it's a billion dollars. So. Uh, and maybe even two billion dollars and a lot of times they argue more about it when there's more money than when there's less money so that's what we'll, well see. and the question today is will they get anything done this year because last year we had a surplus and they couldn't do anything with it because they couldn't agree on it you know it's just like Washington here in Minnesota where people are actually not getting a lot done but this is an election year I know that's cynical but they will get something done I think this year also because they have to go into the Capitol, which is under restoration. Uh, the House members go in there. There's no running water. There are no bathrooms. Not making this up. So I think they're going to get yeah. in, yeah. get out, boom, very quick. And we could know how much money by the end of this week? Yeah, well, we'll know how much money in a surplus. Mm -hmm. It'll be next year before we know what the tax cuts will be. But there will be. Some. This is bad public policy, though, to have one year where you've got a billion dollars surplus mm -hmm. and then... Well, a then lot of people might hole, say, some Republicans we say we're being overtaxed, but as a matter of fact, a lot of people say it's because the economy's getting better. More people are working, more people are paying taxes. That's good. And so when that happens, we get a lot more money. How do you even it out so that all yeah, over between the recession and boom times, then it's even? It's, it's, That's tough. The it's a tough one, yeah.